Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Just when you think it can't get worse, here we are. So many stories have come out, so I had to make a reaction video. You said in the comments you like it when I'm feisty. Well, buckle up, because I am feeling feisty. I have so much to talk about in this video. We're going to talk about the news articles that have come out. We're going to talk about this whiny book that's coming out and the things being alleged. And P.S., can I just tell you, did you guys know this book is almost 16 hours long. We're gonna have to make it into a several part series where I discuss it and we make it into a drinking game or something because I don't know how I'm gonna get through this. But we're gonna talk about the news that has come out. Can you believe he is now blaming Will and Kate, who, by the way, Kate's about to have a birthday. Happy birthday to my girl. I'll be making a video about that. Of course he has to release his book right around her birthday. <laughs> I digress. He's blaming them for his choice in uniform. You know what I'm talking about, those pictures. Yeah, he's blaming them. It's their fault, not his. Nothing's ever his fault. Oh, it must be nice to go through life like that, right? Nothing's ever your fault. Nothing's ever his fault or Meg's fault. Everything was done to them, professional victims. Okay, so we're gonna get through some of the news. We're going to look at some funny memes I found, kind of breaking down what else is going on in the news, as well as we're going to look at some of my favorite comments recently from you guys. So keep the funny comments coming because you might show up in a video very soon. Soon. But first, an update. I'm so excited. We are one step closer to me going to Coronation. I have had so much positive feedback from you guys. I appreciate you so very much. I am still working on the details. You're not. I found hotel. I found all this stuff. So I think we're going to be good. I just have to type a few loose ends and we'll be there if you want to support the cause. This is my tip cup. It really does help me out to getting toward the coronation. So check it out. It's ko-fi.com backslash real housewives recaps. I picked them because all the money goes directly to me. They don't keep any part of it. I appreciate everybody who's who's given. I appreciate everybody in the comments, everyone who's hit that thanks button, your thumbs up, your sharing my videos, that all helps go toward it as well. And I get it. A lot of you have said you probably won't get a good view. I know, but I could still be there and I can pick up on the crowd's reactions to things, right? <laughs> who knows? Maybe me and Kate will become best friends and I'll have her on. I don't know. Might as well go and find out, right? And I, we can make it into a fun game where you tell me things to yell into the crowd or something or to yell at Harry and Megan if those two show that kind of thing. So again, think about supporting me at the KO-FI or check out my Patreon, patreon.com backslash Real Housewives Recaps. Let's get into these two. Oh my gosh. Can you even believe it? Why am I still surprised? I don't even know anymore. So much is going on. I'm sure you've seen it in the news and heard about it. My mind is just blown. He's acting like he wants his dad and brother back, right? And this is how he goes about it. He's doing all these interviews. The book is leaking and it sounds incredibly juicy. <laughs> Made up stories. <laughs> it sounds incredibly, I don't know, detailed. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Just throwing everybody under the bus. Anybody can get a hold of. He's throwing them all under the bus. Some huge jabs at William, at Kate, better not mess with my girl, at his dad, at Camilla, you name it. He's jabbing them, throwing them under the bus, selling them for a book, while continuing to moan because they're staying silent. It's called the high road, Harry. You have no idea about that. Okay, let's get into the first big claim that Harold is making and why you'll see the word Harold trending. It's hilarious, by the way. P.S. If I didn't love William before, before. I freaking love that guy now. Here's what Captain Dipsh, aka Harry, is claiming. William grabbed me by the collar, ripping my necklace, knocked me to the floor. This is all according to Daily Mail. I landed on the dog bowl. That's right. He's claiming that William attacked him and threw him on the dog bowl. Here's a picture of the kitchen in case you were wondering. And a very cute dog, by the way. What was this fight over, you ask? I'll give you a hint. Dun, dun, dun. She's riding in on her broom. And you ready to love Prince William just a little bit more? It's because he branded Meghan Markle difficult. I imagine this photo was taken directly after it and the conversation they had about what went down. According to the Daily Mail, William is said to have had branded Meghan as difficult, rude, and abrasive. Yes! That's what we're all saying. Yes, we see it too, William. Harry then claims that William called him another name. I like how they like to throw out things like this. And this is something that you guys brought up in the comments too. They like to make these accusations with no proof, no further information, nothing to back up anything they're saying. So sure. Then according to Crybaby, I mean Harry, uh, William apologized. I hope that part's not true. 
And he then said, you don't need to tell Meg about this. Okay. Um, then Harry claims to have said, you mean that you attacked me? Uh, to which William replied, I did not attack you, Harold. I love that so much. I will be fer- referring to that douchebag as Harold from now on. <laughs> Harold. Side note, apologies to anybody named Harold. Uh, but I did notice that Harold was trending on Twitter last night. Here's where I want to give a shout out to John. John, such a good point. John caught that Harry sang immediately after this happened, he called his therapist. You know, the person that they couldn't find when they claimed that Megan was having scary thoughts. Make it make sense, right? Okay, let's get into the thing that really ticked me off. Can you believe this no talent ass clown is blaming Kate and William for his choice to wear the uniform that shall not be named? Side note, you're going to notice a lot of your favorite YouTubers uh, cutting back on the swearing and blurring out things like this because YouTube updated its policy. Get a life, YouTube. But yeah, the whiner is trying to blame Kate and William for his choice to wear this costume. I don't care if Kate and William begged him to wear it. It is his decision. No, that's not right. I know. But I'm just saying it is his decision. And by saying it like this, again, nothing is ever his fault. He can't take accountability. And if you can't admit your mistakes, then you're not learning from them. He pretended to admit it on the, uh, whatever documentary, but he's walking that back and blaming William and Kate. I really, really, really despise this couple. Okay, let's get into something funny. So this cartoon made its way around, which I absolutely love. I want to give credit to Peter Brooks. E-R-O-O-K-E-S. He's with The Times. He illustrated this, and I think he did an amazing job. I love this so much. Peter also did this cartoon, which I love. It says, I left the royal family because it was a cross between the Truman Show and living in a zoo. But hey, look at me now. I think that perfectly sums them up. This one is from an account called the Sly Sussex, and it shows Harry on a dog leash. And I think this is spot on as well. Uh, This one was actually featured in the Netflix. Again, I use quotation marks on the word documentary. This one is Pinocchio, and I love it so much. It's from an account called at Sparkle Megan. And (laughs) the first time I saw it, I couldn't stop laughing. And seriously, every time I see it, I crack up. This one I found on Image Flip, and it says some people bring pleasure wherever they go. Others bring pleasure whenever they go. And my personal favorite, because I love the Queen and I love James Bond. Just the wife, 007. I'll deal with the little ginger myself. You guys have been so great in the comments. I just want to look at a few of them. Believe me, I'm reading them all. I try to respond to as many as I possibly can. A sincere thank you to everybody who has taken the time to write me that you'd love to see my coronation coverage. I'm working my hardest on it. I truly am. Sounds like it's probably going to happen. I'm really, I'm, I'm again, still, you know, working on the details. But if nothing else, I want to get crowd reactions. I can get some footage from there. Hey, P.S. If you live in London and are going to the coronation, can you email me rhrcomments at gmail.com? I'd love to pick your brain on a few things. So if you are in London, from London, live in London, whatever, and you want to talk to me, rhrcomments at gmail.com. Thank you. I would like to point out that Gregory, in your comment, called the migraine and hairbrush, and that struck me so funny. I have been laughing about it for days. I told Jay about it. I can't stop. I can't stop (laughs) calling them migraine and hairbrush and thinking about that. That was very clever. Well done. You guys have so many funny names for them that I love so much, and a lot of Shut Up Harry's, um, which was also trending on Twitter, which I love. I love this comment so much. Thank you, Zoo Renard, which says, the book is coming out. Buckle up, people. We're in for a new ride. Unfortunately, it's going to have the the same boring view. David, one of my frequent commenters, I love you so much. Thank you for being here, says, his ridiculous book promotion is just starting, and I'm so sick of his ridiculous face. Me too. And David also talks about his entitled moaning. That's exactly how we all feel, David. Lily, I love this comment, says, when I saw the engagement interview, I knew she wasn't blank. Uh, Then I found out neither is Harry. Mitchy Magoo, you made me laugh so hard with this one, especially love that thumbnail, by the way, says Harry and Megan are the royal leaks to the dog bowl with you, Harold. I love the idea of calling that idiot Harold now. 
So Bronte 1987 very correctly points out that they often refer to quote unquote someone at the palace. It would, and also someone said, thank you for your service, ma'am, to her, you know, that BS story, but <laughs> it's never anything specific, never any receipts. Spot on Bronte. I couldn't agree more. Will, I am not, I love, I love that um, username, says, family mean, I get someone to write my book, and points out that he attended one of the most expensive schools in England and still did not have the ability to write it for himself. Of course, you all know he did use a ghostwriter on this one. Probably too hard to write all that in crayon. I actually sent out a tweet yesterday that um, it would most likely be written in crayon, and then he can cry that he was not given a pencil. So if you're on Twitter, follow me there. I'm at Real Recaps. I'm on other social media, but I've explained before I'm the least technological person ever. I know how to work Twitter. That's why I'm active on there. If you follow me on any of the others and you're like, Jen, why aren't you active? It's because I don't know how to work them. Sorry. <laughs> if anyone wants to teach me, I welcome it. Well, guys, that's it for me in this video. So much to react to. So much news coming out. You better believe I will keep these videos coming. As the TikToks roll in, you better believe I'll be reporting on those. And just a huge thank you. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to those who have stuck with me this whole time. I I see you. I know your names. I'm learning each of you. Thank you so much. It's, it's been an incredible journey. I've had so many new subs lately. Um, if you are new here, I encourage you, if you like Sex in the City stuff, I did. <laughs> I kind of, I don't know, got more recognition because I started... I, like I realized how bad and just like that was and started recapping that and being honest about it and it kind of took off from there. So if that's your sort of thing, go watch that. A lot of people asking, will I be do, doing season two? Well, you better believe it. I will be doing season two, which comes out this summer, last I heard. So as soon as we know dates on that, I'll be talking about that. Guys, thanks so much for being here. So much more coverage to come. So many exciting plans to make and just keep checking back to the channel. Hey, tell other people about me. Tweet about me. Share my videos. Whatever you want to do. Get my name out there. I'm trying my hardest here. <laughs> um, if you want to further support the show, check out my Patreon. Patreon.com backslash Real Housewives Recaps. $5 a month gets you access to a new video each week where I'm deep diving Sex in the City. But also you have access to my back catalog. And I want to say it's like... I don't know, 80 something videos. It's a lot. So check that out. Um, I just added a new tier two. If you want to become executive producer where I give your channel or your Twitter or your whatever, <laughs> handle a shout out, your name a shout out, whatever it is, we'll talk about it. So um, check that out. Again, this is all just to raise money to get to the coronation. Also, I do have my tip cup set up at ko-fi.com backslash Real Housewives Recaps. I've been told it's pronounced coffee, but it's not spelled like that. That's why I spell it out like that. So check that out if you just want to do a one-time tip or hit that thank you button because again, all of it goes toward getting me to the coronation, getting more coverage, and we'll come up with something like maybe some sort of contest or something where you come up with funny things for me to yell if I see Harry and Megan because I'll do it and we'll get it on film. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here. I can't wait to bring you more content like this. Have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.